Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the changes of the Idle Heroes private server. And there is many changes coming. Uh, so what Meh has done, he's working on revamping the monsters, making them much more viable in battle. And it will change how the teams will work in PvP. There will be many new pet focuses to experiment with. It will be much more varied and balanced. And after the pet focuses, he will focus on heroes to make heroes better. Field is one of them, maybe Bloodblade. And he will work on balancing heroes, which is bet makes them better in a way, makes it all fit together. Uh, because right now, if you have the newest hero like Mem or Fateblade or Belrain for that matter, you're pretty insane. So he wants to make more viable, he wants people to have a better balance of teams. Um, as for the decompiling to return to official, I think we can almost say goodbye to that right now because he's working on this and if and when someone decompiles it, I'm not sure what will happen. Uh, but for right now, uh, he is working on revamping monsters as I've said. So we'll take a look at the changes of the monsters and I will give my input over what I think is best. I think all of them sounds pretty good for PvP, but I'll, I will read it out for you guys as well. Um, so yeah, that's it over here at, at this window. Okay, so let's do that and that. Okay, so Wolf, uh, medium HP and attack. That means he, he doesn't uh, really deal a bunch. He deals damage, but he doesn't deal a lot. It's medium, it's not low. Um, high damage from skill. Oh, oh yeah, that's, isn't that um, from passive? Yeah, okay, both offense and, okay, medium HP and attack. I, I, I read this very fast at work, so I'm not really the most, um, Yes, <laughs> okay, medium HP and attack, high damage from skill, offers both offensive and then de defensive passives. Bleed lasts longer, so you can actually use the buff from skill, possible uses. Uh, PvP teams with balanced offensive and defensive abilities while offering burst damage from skill. Uh, some damages, times 5, times 4. So that means he is dealing that damage to 4 enemies and 65% extra damage to, to bleeding targets. So that's 508,000 plus 50,000 times five times four. Oh yeah, it's f okay, so I understand now. That's his, um, that's his damage to the enemies, and this is the bleeds damage five times, uh, or for five turns, as much as I understand it, and it's to four enemies. And it deals more damage against bleeding targets, um, times two. Yeah, and that's extra two turns plus 65% damage or something like for, I don't understand that really. Okay, 65% damage against bleeding targets times two. So I guess it's out of the four he hits, he deals extra to two of them. Am I mistaken? Okay, so I may be bad at reading this stuff off, but hopefully you guys can bear with me. And HP 35%, attack 35%, armor break 20% and block 30%. Um, I'm not fully sure what that means. Um, I assume it means that you get these stuff, these stats from passives. Or no. He gives these stats while he's using his attack. I, ass I assume that's what it does. So when he gives an attack or hits the monsters, you get a buff, right? So I assume he gives this buff to the team when he does an attack. And this, I don't know how long it lasts for, maybe two turns? Um, I'm not fully sure. But anyway, this is just a base. Like, this is what it may look like and you're going to experiment on your own. Okay, so that was the wolf. So many f Okay, now we're on bird. Bird, highest attack, lowest HP. Low damage from skill. Offers high, high offensive ability, glass cannon pet. 
Okay, so this basically does give you barely any HP, it seems. And uh, yeah, it's for a glass cannon team. You want to deal as much as possible in such a short amount of time of possible, of in such a short amount of time. So that means for, it's not good for brave trial, or even. Um, okay, so it's not good for brave trial, and probably guild war. So this is not a guild war's pet. Um, glass cannon damage reduce uh, helps against enemies with high damage reduce damage reduction. Okay, let's... Damage reduce cannot go below zero. Possible uses. Glass cannon PvP teams. Boss killers that uh, use damage over time effects. Okay, so this deals 250,000 damage for four turns in a row. And 30% uh, damage reduce... Um, minus 30% damage reduce. And minus 30 speed times two. And this is for two rounds on four enemies. Okay, so this, this is rounds. 25% attack buff to the team and 35% buff holy damage for two turns for four allies. Okay, so that means uh, all of this stuff. I'm not sure. I think this is probably passives or something. This has to be passives because what else can it be? Okay, so I think these are probably passive. So it will give 50% attack. 20% HP, 20% holy damage, and 20% armor break. Because I don't, I don't see the pet giving this when he does a skill. Because the, the what he gives when he does a skill is specified here. So this I assume means as passives or something like you can get that total from passives. That's what makes sense to me anyway. Plus speed. I actually, I'm, I'm very confused here. I'm very confused. Also, correct me if I'm wrong. I may be wrong in understanding this. I should have had someone experienced to talk to. Okay, so this is the bird. From what I hear, though, the bird will be very nice for, well, I guess, glass cannon teams. Um, I may give up. Give Yeah, this isn't quality, man. 